Hello, my name is Relina Thomas. Uh, many of you may remember recently in the news, Brian Williams was disgraced by telling a false story of being shot down in a helicopter while reporting in Iraq. A soldier present at this incident revealed that Williams was part of a convoy, and it was in fact the helicopter ahead of his that faced RPG fire. He apologized and claimed that he had misremembered the event. This was widely met with skepticism. Critics claim he purposely exaggerated this story. How could somebody misremember such a dramatic event? Let's look at this through the lens of neuroscience. How do we make memories? How are memories formed? We don't yet understand this completely. What we do believe is that memories are made and stored at synapses. Synapses are the site of chemical communication between two neurons in your brain. <clears throat> When we grow from an infant to an adult, we are constantly adding and removing new synapses. When we receive input from the environment outside of us, our synapses are altered. On the diagram, you can see a drawing of a neuron, and we zoom in to see the synapses. We receive input, and synaptic plasticity occurs. That's the changing of the synapses. Neuroscientists believe that synaptic plasticity underlies learning and memory. Many of the molecules involved in these processes are known, but many more are yet to be discovered. We don't understand which synapses are saved and which are removed, and how this translates into memory formation. One molecule recently identified is called NGR1. This molecule activates what we call a signaling cascade, which is where one protein activates another protein, much like firemen passing a water bucket in a fire brigade. If we imagine the synapse as a hot air balloon, NGR1 initiates the fire brigade, turning out the fire, causing the hot air balloon to collapse, and thus the synapse is removed. In my thesis, I show this protein, LGI1, physically blocks NGR1 from functioning. The water is not turned on, the fire remains on, and the hot air balloon remains open, or the synapse remains intact. The interaction of these molecules could be one mechanism by which memory formation occurs. Now, how does this relate to Brian Williams? If we keep in mind that every time you remember a story, a new copy of this memory is saved. So each time your synapses are changing. It is pointed out in the media that Williams changed his story slowly over time. So it is not so preposterous that he saved a new copy. His memory evolved and he truly did misremember the event. Thank you.